I got uh, acquainted with this project in the first place when David Kajanek uh, called me saying that he had this script that he had worked on for a few years and that he wanted me to consider. And I always loved his work and of course he's my friend and we have been making movies together since uh, almost a decade now uh, from a bigger splash onward. So I said, yeah, I would be very honored and happy to take the opportunity to read the script. He sent me the script and I immediately flipped for it. I found it beautiful and I found it really fascinating and uh, I realized that those characters that he has written from the novel by Camille De Angelis were people that I wanted to spend time with. Well, I thought the characters were the driving force of the script and the movie, so for me it was about being as humbly as possible at the height of these characters and at the height of America that we were portraying. And uh, I wanted to give the movie a classicism uh, that could speak uh, without any kind of sensationalism. And I wanted it to be a very endearing love story. So for me, the most important aspects of it was, through performance, how to communicate the depths of this love story. Well, I mean, I've, I've been working with an, a beautiful team of people from Giulia Piersanti, costume designer, to Elliot Osteter, production designer, to uh, uh, um, um, Fernanda Perez, makeup artist, and Massimo Gattabruzzi, hairstylist. So, uh, like, we've been, and Arseni Cacciaturan, the amazing director of photography. So we've been all influencing one another. I, I decided that because I wanted to shoot into the, the story set in the 80s, I, I told everybody we should shoot it as if we were in the 80s, not about the 80s. So we all really worked very hard to find the, the real tone and the real balance there. Uh, and, and naturalism was one of our really strong point. The idea that uh, we are all alone and we have to find a way to, um, for a moment, just a minute, find someone else who let us feel not alone for that moment. And um, I think that is reflected in the way in which these characters travel through America, separate and find one another again. Giulia Persanti really worked a lot on the idea that these characters being rover and being people who are actually kind of taking lives, they are also taking mementos of the people they're taking lives of and they're making their own garments. Uh, so there is a lot of uh, identities that are kind of war by these characters particularly by Lee, who is almost like as if he's the first grunge boy. Um, uh, Elliot Osteter had made an incredible in-depth research of the real America of the 80s that we had to portray. And with Marisa Lombardo, said the decorator, and Matt Marks, prop master, he really, really went for an almost uh, um, hallucinatory portrait of that America to uh, the most precise detail. I think Taylor and Timothy brings their tenderness, their fragilities into the characters. They are really naked into the characters. They're really unguarded in a way that is beautiful and really uh, reassuring. Well, when, when, I, when I spoke to Mark Rylance about the character, we both agreed that, that we had to be seeing this movie also through the lens of, of Sully. We could see the movie as the movie about a man who has been alone for so long that he doesn't know how to find contact again, but he needs contact. And that's a sort of like very heartbreaking desperation that he's going through. So we gave him so many very how can I say, solid motivations and, and, and real qualities that belong to something that we know we can justify so that he didn't come across as just the villain but someone more fleshed out and more rounded. And of course, my, Mark is one of the greatest actors of his generation, so like, what can you do? You work with the best? Through festivals, I've seen audiences really in tears and very... Uh, like moved by the movie, and I and I, I I know that festivals bring specific audiences, so the real audiences uh, 
we have yet to see what they do, but I hope that they will be half uh, heartbroken and has touched by the movie as the people that I already seen the movie. And that I hope that in America people see the great uh, love and respect that I have for this beautiful country.